Hello everyone and welcome back to Jackal Educational Channel. So this is the time to reveal the results for the quiz contest which was conducted on 31st of May 2021. So this environmental science quiz is conducted every week on Monday on this platform to prepare ourselves for the environmental science entrances and to learn something about our environment. And those who want to participate in this quiz contest, you can go through all these rules by pausing the video. So before revealing the results, let's discuss the questions first. So the first question was, Dash are the perennially sealed off by ice from most of the annual seasonal variation in temperature. So it was asking about the type of lake and here the correct option will be A that is amictic lakes are perennially sealed off by the ice from most of the annual seasonal variation in temperature. So this mixing of lake is known as mictic and there are different kinds of categories. So you should know this because this is one of the frequent last question in the examination. So here in this slide, we will be able to know what are the kind of mixing. So mixing is called as mictic and it is also called as turnover of lakes. So here, th mepilimnion, thermocline, hypolimnion, all these are turnover and the nutrients along with the oxygens are turnover. So this is the helpful thing for all the organisms living inside the lakes because the oxygen are replenished and all the nutrients are recycled. So here this happens in summer, fall, spring and winter and mostly this is found in the case of temperate region. So here four important terms you should remember one is monomictic that are the lakes in which one season free circulation is taking place which is either in summer or winter one mixing that is mono means single next is dimictic di means though so two seasons of circulation takes place one in spring one in autumn next is oligomictic oligomictic means here circulation is rarely seen so it is called as the stably stratified lakes and next terminology is holomictic so holomictic are the most common type of lakes which turns over at least once per year so these are the lakes which turns over at least once it can be more than one if it is one only it can be monomictic but it is telling that at least once per year then you will go for this option that is holomictic kind of lakes so i hope you are able to learn this thing let's move to the next question the next question was identify the correct statements and here both the statements were correct so option c will be correct and let us read the statements the first statement was the decibel db is used to measure sound levels so every individual you will be knowing next thing is the db is a logarithmic way of describing a ratio so it describes a ratio the ratio may be power of sound pressure voltage or intensity so these things are important i hope you are writing down on your notes Coming to the third question, the third question was radiation composed of particles heavier than helium is specifically called a dash kind of beam. So here the correct option will be these kind of beam are called a specifically heavy ion beam when the radiation it can be used in the nuclear reactors when it is heavier than the helium particle those beam are called as heavy ion beam. So let's move to the fourth question of this quiz contest. The fourth question was identify the incorrect statements. So here none of the statements were incorrect. So option number D will be correct. So here let us read the statements because it will give the concept to us. So first statement was positive correlation is a relationship between two variables in which both the variables move in tandem. And the next correct statement was a positive correlation exists when one variable decreases as the other value decreases. So it is proportional that is one variable will decrease so other variable will also decrease and also one variable will increase when the other variable increases in case of statistics. So these are the two definitions of the positive correlation. Let's move to the fifth question. The fifth question was dash is or are organochlorine pesticides it is talking about the pesticides while ld carb is a carbamate kind of pesticide so here option number a will be correct because aldrin chlorden and endosulfan all are the example of organochlorine pesticide which is having chlorine as a component let's move to the sixth question the sixth question was which is or are false about the autoclaving process so here the false statement will be option number b why because it works by the concept that the boiling point of water or steam increases when it is under pressure so as your pressure increases the boiling point also increases so it will not be decreases it will be increases and this statement was correct because it is a sterilization method that autoclaving that uses high pressure steam so let's move to the seventh question the seventh question was the dash principle is the commonly accepted practice that those who produce pollution so those who create pollution should bear the cost of managing it to prevent damage to the human health or environment so here this principle is most commonly known as polluters pay principle so those who will pollute they will pay because to prevent the damage to human and our environment 
Let's move to the eighth question. The eighth question was very conceptual, which is not a combination of essential micronutrients of the soil. And here the correct option will be option number C because copper is a micronutrient, but sulfur is not a micronutrient. It is a macronutrient. And all this molybdenum, manganese, cobalt, iron, nickel, all are micronutrients. So this combination was not a combination of micronutrient because sulfur is a macronutrient. So if you want to know more about macro and micronutrient, you can click on the I button and know all the tricks to remember. Next is the ninth question from the remote sensing part. The question was urban heat island effect is best studies using remote sensing in which of the following spectral region. So here the correct option will be A and C both that is 0 0.5 to 0 0.9 micrometer and 10 to 12 micrometer is the spectral region in the remote sensing to study the urban heat island effect. Let's move to the final question of this quiz contest. The final question was the arithmetic mean of the blood samples with the platelet counts 5, 5 and 40 is how much? So this was a chocolate question. Simply we have to add this, all these three, 5 plus 5 plus 40 divided by number of samples that is number of terms given is 3. So the correct answer will be by solving this it will be 16.66. So option number B will be the correct option. So now we will know the name of the winner and the winner is... Alka Jain, so congratulations to Alka for securing 10 out of 10 marks and other participants who have also done well are Shivani, Deepsika Gupta, Khadija Samreen, Anurag Bera, Diksha Pandey, Nimisha, Tamali Bashak, BK Sahu, Fatima Muhammad, Priyanka Sivhare, Dipali, Gita Sarma and Bindu Anil Pillai. So congratulations to all of you, keep up the good work. So guys keep participating in this weekly quiz contest so that you can become the top performer if you answer more questions correctly. So see you guys in our next video, till then keep smiling and believe in yourself.